Hello everyone and welcome back to Pixmux Tuts. Today I got something really special for you. I'm going to show you what settings you should use in OBS Studio when you're recording. Let's get right to it. Select the settings in the bottom right hand corner of OBS Studio. Scroll down and click on Output. From here, you can select your streaming information and your recording information. You can choose your bit rate for streaming and your audio rate for streaming. But we can get to that in another video. Today, we're going to address recording. If you move to the area that says recording, you'll see it says recording path. Recording path is where a video is going to store when you hit record within OBS. Recording quality, you can set as the same quality as the stream. You also can hit the drop down and change it to high quality, indistinguishable quality, and lossless quality. Those file sizes are large and they can be a little bit harder to edit if you have a slower computer. I'm gonna stay same as the stream. The recording format is going to change depending on what kind of edit you want to do and where you want to upload your videos. The default is MKV. I prefer MP4. The file size are a little bit smaller and it's easier to find software to edit that particular format. It does give you a warning that the recordings can be completely lost if something were to happen in the middle of the recording. I've never had this happen to me but it's important for you to note this. My recording settings go right to Pixmux videos. I'm going to hit apply and okay. So as a test, I will hit the recording button and then hit stop. Next, you'll want to navigate to your videos folder. That's where we told it to record to. And voila, there it is. Here's our recording. We can verify that it's under the right settings by hitting properties. And it'll tell us that it's an MP4 file and that's exactly what we wanted. I'm going to hit OK. Changing your recording settings is very easy in OBS Studio. Play around with it until you find something that you like. Just keep in mind that if you plan on doing a lot of editing, the larger the file, the harder it's going to be for your computer to chug through that information. Until next time.